Welcome to MobileTechRoad.com Today I'm going to show you an iPhone application called Mobile 3D City Paris 3D which is a mix match between Google Maps and the tourist guide so let's launch it So as you can see I have a full map of the city of Paris so I'm going to zoom in and you're going to see that one of the biggest features of this app is that every single building on the map is being rendered in full 3D so I'm going to rotate a little bit so you can see right now I can navigate around zoom out, zoom in, so you can navigate around Paris I can tap a tap on it, get all the informations, send it by mail, add it as a bookmark, get a direction. And just navigate through Paris, all in 3D. Now let's take a look at all the features. As you can see on the bottom you have a row of several icons. The first one is called Where Am I? And it basically enables the GPS receiver on your iPhone to pinpoint your location live on the map. It's not going to work right now because I'm inside. The second icon is called Address. And it basically lets you search for uh, all the points of interest available in the application and you can also search for roads and stuff like that but if you're searching for certain specific specific address you can't put the number for example if I want to look for this one It's gonna find Avenue de Champs Elysees, but not 22. So you can only find the road, not a uh, specific place on this uh, on this road. So I'm gonna click on it. And it's gonna take me right to the Avenue de Champs Elysees. The third icon is the themes icon. So that's basically all the points of interest available in different categories you get activities, children, accommodation, nature, relax, restaurants, shopping, outing, sports, uh, transportation visit and practical so if I click on uh, outing for example and I go back on to the map you can see that every building that has uh, for example a nightclub is being rendered in purple on the map so you can fight them easier I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to show you I zoom in and click on one of the buildings this one for example can do the same for every one of the categories you can even select them all at the same time and they will all have different colors on the map go back you can see all the different colors of the different categories The next icon is called 2C and uh, you got the same categories for all the points of interest but if you click on outing this time it's gonna list all the, uh, the nightclubs that are near my current location on the map for example right here 
the first one is Café Very and if I go back and change my location you can see that it has changed the closest this is the Cinema Gomo Opera at 30, 20, 23, sorry, 23 meters around me now the next icon is the bookmarks icons which basically is like your favorites so for example if I wanna double tap on this uh, on this building I can just save it create a bookmark I'm gonna call it bookmark free add it and I can find it again right here it's like favorites you can manage them for example here I, I have put the, the museum and if I click here I have basically all the information about this museum phone number website link prices and everything and I can go directly there by clicking show And as you can see it's rendered in the red because that's the building that's selected and if I want to deselect it I have just to tap anywhere else on the map. Now one of the other features is that you can get directions. For example right I have the Musée d'Orsay right here and uh, I want to go somewhere else so I'm going to uh, go here, tap on it, double tap, check this and check this one and basically I just calculated the direction from this point to the other bookmark I had and you can see the directions being rendered by this red, one, red line and it's only directions by by feet you don't have transportation unfortunately here we go we are at the place of the invalid and finally you have the options icon right here which lets you display roads for example so it's gonna overlay the roads in white as you can see here you get display themes which is basically the same we've seen before GPS receiver activate the GPS you got a help file right here then you got the credits that's it oh and you also have a little overhead map right here that you can expand when you click on it to see where you are exactly in Paris so that's it for all the features available in this app as you can see it's a pretty good application really really cool to, to navigate through Paris in 3D the only downsides I see is that it can be a little bit slow on a frame rate when you got a lot of buildings being rendered at the same time and uh, you definitely need to have your two fingers to, to use it you can use it with one hand for example if you're walking down the streets in Paris looking for something you always have to use your two fingers to navigate, to zoom in, to rotate, to do anything but uh, right now I'm using uh, an iPhone 3G and uh, I'm pretty sure that it, it runs a little, bit, a little bit faster on the 3GS given that the new uh, iPhone has a better processor as you can see it can be a little bit tricky to use it you have to have your two fingers on the screen to tilt and to rotate around I'm gonna zoom out so uh, another feature is that basically all you have seen right now is being stored on your iPhone I'm not streaming anything as you can see everything is disabled Wi-Fi 3G the, the app is around 450 megs it's available on App Store right now for around uh, $699.699 euros if you are in Europe and uh, it's pretty cool there are going to be a lot of updates coming with hopefully a little bit more uh, points of interest because right, right now you only have 2,000 points of interest for Paris and that's a little bit uh, on the short side for a big city like Paris but it's quite good so 
you can uh, follow me on uh, mobiletechworld.com or on Twitter at mobiletechworld. And uh, that's it for now. Cheers, guys.